hi this message is for cancer sun moon or rising um, also you could be a cross watcher this message could be for you remember that energies can go both ways so it could be about you or someone that you're dealing with and I went ahead and I pulled the Oracle messages and um, some of the animal spirit wild unknown animal spirit um, cards that help me see how you are doing and then I pulled some tarot cards from the dreams of Gaia tarot and I'm going to clarify with the wild unknown tarot as we go and I've pre shuffled those cards um, Normally you see me shuffle, but my computer still crashed, so I'm waiting for that to be able to do any kind of editing. But anyway, so let's start with your oracle messages. The first one I got is Changed by the Night. This is what it looks like up, right? From the Alice in Wonderland oracle, and it is reversed. And I'm going to read that message to you. Um... Okay, so... When it's reversed, this is feeling you're not growing as a person or that you have stayed the same for a very long time. You may be looking at introducing something new and exciting challenges into your life to help you grow and discover more about all the wonderful selves you have within you. And the first messages that I have from the Animal Oracle, I got them in like two sets they like four cards came out twice okay so the first one I got is the rabbit and the rabbit is like it's energy that's like afraid of everything afraid to do anything not moving um, now we've got the swan reversed the scorpion reversed and the spider reversed so the swan reversed is like agitated snippy um, the Scorpio, the Scorpion reversed is like jealous, resentful, and the Spider reversed is like uh, tired, forlorn, not moving forward, feeling like they can't do anything because, um, yeah, just like not able to move. Um, I'm seeing a like a change coming in, but first let's look at Sita reversed from the Yogic Path Tarot or Oracle. <laughs> and then I'll get into your other messages from Yeah. Well I'll we'll just get into the other messages. Hold on. <laughs> okay. Let's see, Sita is the goddess of devotion and loyalty, and with it, it's reversed, it says, You have given all your, your all to a person, but you have been questioned, criticized, and not treated with res the respect you deserve. Though you truly want to make this person happy, it's time to walk away and choose yourself. This person will never change. The only thing that you can change is you. By stepping away to preserve yourself, you are choosing the love and healing vibration of this planet. After Sita showed her loyalty to her husband, Ram, by jumping into a fire, he still questioned and tested her. She said, if I have always been faithful to Ram, may the earth receive me, and she sank into the earth, never to be seen again. When kindness isn't honored, it disappears. So... If you're dealing with a person, then what you could be feeling is that, like just like Sita was described in that um, oracle message. And what I'm showing is that um, the first card I got is nothing will come of the situation. And then we've got the Ace of Fire, which is like a new beginning, new passionate beginning. I'm going to look to see, because this could be that maybe something started like a new passionate beginning and you hoped it would turn into something more and it didn't, or it could be that once you give up on this situation that's not moving anywhere and start something new, um, 
things will start to change. But let's see what um, Tarot wants to clarify that. Okay, so we've got the Son of Wands, the Ace of Swords reversed, this is all reversed, and the Two of Wands reversed. So that's like, yeah, from what I'm seeing, it's like something that you started I'm actually seeing you like you're not seeing something clearly I'm not seeing some kind of yeah there's lack of clarity here and there's you're being forced to go down a path it's like you're supposed to go down this path that's it's like some kind of um, passionate new path but you've lacked clarity and so you haven't taken action towards it you it's like you're not moving towards it you're not seeing that and so something is going to force you to go that direction. Um, okay, so the next card I got is communication is key. So you could have started something and then it kind of been going nowhere or you're not seeing it going anywhere and there's like a new start in the same thing going somewhere and it, like I said it could be like a relationship or something but this is the card clarifying it is the eight of earth which is like growth manifestation um, success wealth love so like but communication is key um, let me read the communication is key to you new moon in Gemini it says a successful relationship usually comes down to one thing, communication. And the new moon in Gemini card is all about the start of a new cycle for communicating with the person at the center of your question. Talking things through is the answer to whatever it is asking you about. If you can't talk to the person, you can journal about it to yourself. Emails, text messages, and all the other forms of communication will help you now. If the issue you're asking about concerns a sibling or neighbor, there's a new start coming, a time to wipe the slate clean and start over. This card does also suggest you've been too frivolous lately and need to get grounded again. But most importantly, drawing this card emphasizes the need to communicate. So let me see what other oracle or tarot cards I can get. So Eight of Earth and Communication. Okay, so we've got the Mother of Cups and the Daughter of Wands reversed. So the Mother of Cups, you could be dealing with um, a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Um, or this could be you since you're cancer but give me just a moment so the mother of cups is she has like intuitive psychic abilities and with the daughter of wands being reversed it's like she's not embracing it or seeing it This can be, again, lack of communication because da the daughter is like the page, which is like communicating. Um, I'm going to get one more for why is the daughter of wands. Why is the daughter of wands reversed? Or it can be like not communicating, not acting on the communication that you need to. <laughs> the daughter of pentacles reversed. You could also be dealing with an earth or a fire sign, but the daughter of pentacles is like, it's like something new is not 
being started. It's like it needs to be to be started. Communication needs to take place, and it's going to be successful. It's going to be stable and passionate. Is what I'm seeing. Okay, the next one we got is you're very close to achieving your goal. And I'm going to read that message to you. We'll find a real okay, so the Gibeus moon, it says the word Gibeus means bulging. What a descriptive word, right? And pulling this card at the t any time of the month suggests that the situation you're asking about is bulging with possibility and coming to a peak, but this isn't an ending card with a neat yes or no answer. Rather, you're being reminded that some adjustments may yet be required before you get what you want, though you're certainly on the right track, which is hopefully reassuring for you. However, there is a sense that a situation is a bit tense. So don't push too hard. One false move and the whole thing can blow. That's not meant to scare you. It's just to let you know that there's a fuse attached to the situation. So be careful if you choose to light it. Hmm. Interesting. And then we've got the night or the sensual, which is like the knight of pentacles. So the sensual in this deck is about he's like the servant. And you can see there's like a dog down there. It's about someone who's super loyal and hmm. so what I'm seeing is that okay with Sita being reversed it's like either you or a person you're dealing with has been super loyal and it's like one false move is going to cause the whole thing to blow and that could be with if it's not a person it's like with a situation so like if you're creating something new it's like if you don't follow the rules like perf perfecting something or listening to your intuition on something but there's something to do with communicating clearly like you need to communicate clearly and clarifying that I got the six of cup the six of cups with the three of swords reversed the Three of Swords Reverse is about healing. The Six of Cups is about your past, your roots. Um, as you can see these roots here. There may need to be some type of healing for you to be able to communicate clearly in this situation and not cause it to go in the wrong direction but rather like it propels forward if that makes sense let's go to the next card because what I'm seeing is like okay the next two cards let me show you them real quick because these are the last two of the oracle but we got leadership and potential. So it's like, there's potential for leadership here, but it's like your communication needs to be really clear. And for your communication to be really clear, there's healing some for something, something from the past. Healing a heartbreak from the past. And with leadership, the card that came out was the seven of earth reversed the seven of earth reversed is about reconnecting with people with someone with family it's like if you're being if you're you're too much glued to your work um, let me see why is the seven of earth reversed cancer and 
and it specifically talks about being too glued to like technology and needing to reconnect with the earth with the earth community family okay let's see what these two are <laughs> okay <laughs> so let me show you what I got so I got the lovers and strength so you may be needing to reconnect with a Leo or a Gemini um, or and I've got double Gemini energy because we've got uh, the magician here but this is like manifesting stability a home um, like something stable foundation it can be coming together with the lovers there and the strength card I, oh, in this deck, I always think of like some kind of Casanova or something with the light, the strength card because he's got that rose in his mouth. But um, and the four of wands can indicate marriage a lot of times too. And there's the lovers with the two. There's like a choice, it seems. Um, I'm seeing you as this, um, actually as this strength card. Let me show you, look at um, this. So the magician is this lion, and I don't know what this animal is. I'm not very good with animals and what they are, but if you notice, there's an infinity symbol on both the lion and on this animal. So, and this is um, a card of Leo. This is a card of Gemini the, with the magician here. But, and the sun is shining down on both of these as well. It's almost like there's some type of connection that is coming together again that's going to propel you into this like leadership role. That's what I'm seeing because see the, the lovers here, it's like two of you and then there's like this four of wands, this stability, this is like shining bright together and and then there's the leadership and I'm gonna read that leadership message to you from the book let's see in Western culture we wish upon a star because the stars represent all that is illuminating and enchanting they symbolize aspiration, illumination, inspiration, imagination, and wonder. Native people use the stars to find their way at night. The North Star was often used as a kind of compass to make sure one was going in the right direction. The star symbolizes direction and guidance. It is the guiding light for those who can't find their way. It is one of the brightest stars in the constellation. Just as the North Star is a beacon for travelers in the dark of the night. You are a beacon for others. It's time to step into the light and take your leadership role. You are a teacher, steward, guardian, and healer, a true leader. One of these gifts come, come into the light. Don't hold back, let the world see your light. The greatest leaders are those who know how to serve and act as stepping stones for others to reach their dreams. If you have been hiding in the background, it's time to, to break out and become the light for others. Through this, your star shines brighter. So you know what I'm seeing here is that when you communicate, okay, you're going to have this communication. I think this communication is going to be very healing for you, but healing for others of past hurts, okay? And that is going to be the bulge, the bursts. Because um, 
let me show you what I've got here with for the other animal oracle cards, okay? Um, so we've got the sea serpent, the owl, the bat, and the whale. Okay, the sea serpent, this is um, with the circle, it's like the, the spirit card. Or, but anyway, the sea serpent sees itself, it sees its ego, it sees the whole self. Okay, it's like the all. And I always think of like an eyeball when I see this card too. Um, but then the owl, the owl can see in the night. Look, look at all these cards of seeing in the night, okay? If you were thinking of the ego as like the night and say you saw, it, it doesn't matter which way you look at it, but it's like the sun and the night, okay? Being able to see in the dark. Because the owl, or the owl sees in the dark, the bat sees in the dark, and like this moon is illuminating behind the bat, okay? Um, and the whale, the whale talks about the deep waters of your emotions. Okay, so the owl, the owl and the bat also talk about having like a sixth sense, like sight, um, being able to emerge. This is kind of like um, the owl waits for the sun to set and the moon to come out and then it flies. But then the whale, okay, with its emotions being, or with it being reversed, it's like there's a tendency to slip into like the old story. But, and it could be kind of like having that sixth sense. Because you have that sixth sense, it's like you might sense intentions from other people or other situations that are tell an old story that you used to be in. But let's see where this ends, okay? Because the last card you got is Potential. And the Six of Wands reversed. So let me go to Potential, okay? I'm going to read that one real quick. Go. Oh, I don't know how to spell it, apparently. Okay. Volcanoes er erupt in places where the Earth's plates meet, where there are cracks through which lava emerges, either explosively or by flowing more slowly down a cinder cone. Even when a volcano is at rest, there is always possibility of a huge eruption. There is potential of great power. There are very few things on this planet more combat commanding than an erupting volcano. The archetypal personality of a volcano is one of a wild, unpredictable, formidable energy. This card appears when you are ready to activate your potential and step into your strength, which is what I was seeing with that Leo, that strength card um, with the lion. This is the time to activate those gifts that you've had on the back burner in your life. You have incredible potential, untapped potential. This is the time to allow it to flow. An inner wellspring of power is emerging. You have a profound spiritual power that is deep within you. Do not doubt your great authority and capabilities. A dormant volcano might indicate that you have uncomfortable emotions that you're repressing or keeping inside. Thus creating emotional stress, inner pressure, it can also mean that you are on the verge of a great expansive expansion of energy and life force. And I think, so what I'm seeing is it's like you have a choice on which direction this volcano is going to erupt, or what it's going to erupt into. Because this, again, was like you're very close to achieving your goals, but this is like the, the whale is like, Saying that you could you you could slip into the old story and like um, erupt and like have an eruption of emotions like anger, rage, or like uh, you know crying, upset, or you have this potential to come out with like this strength 
and this communication using these six senses that you have um, developed, been able to see, um, and like this potential to be a great leader. And it's, I feel like there's something like forcing you into, into a path because you haven't chose it. Um, yeah, I haven't chose like what direction to go into. So it's like something is going to like rub at you. That's what I'm getting. It's like, it's like uh, poking at you, rubbing at you, like festering until you make this choice on which direction you're going, which, how are you going to, um, how is this energy going to come out, basically? What is the Six of Wands reversed? We got the Ace of Wands upright. Let me see if there is any more that want to come out. What's this? Got the Five of Swords reversed. Okay, so with the okay with this Six of Wands reversed in this deck. Okay, so when it's upright, this is about compromise, seeing both the good and evil type of the dark and light energies. I guess is what you want to say. And um, what I'm seeing is it's like I'm seeing this the way it's being read in this deck is that there's the two paths and like you're being forced to follow one of them not both of them so like if it's like a job if you're working two jobs it's like you're going to be forced to choose one or the other um if you're dating multiple people you're going to be forced to choose one or the other if you're have different ideas you're just going to choose which which one you're going forward with because see how this earthworm is like cut in half this is like, I'm no longer going to be mentally conflicted anymore. I'm choosing which way I'm going. And you're going at it with this Ace of Wands. Okay. So um, that is the potential energies that are coming in for you. So um, that is all I have for you right now. If you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, share. Um, I appreciate all the subscriptions, and I will be coming out with more videos, especially once I get my computer back. So, all right, thank you.